Biden, the border and reproductive rights. It's State of the Union Day here at the United States Capitol. Can Biden win Michigan in November? Yes. What are you hoping to hear tonight, Congresswoman? Um, I'm hoping to hear Joe Biden who will finally uh, admit that it's his disastrous policies that are destroying our country. My name is Katie Hawkinson, and I'm a reporter with The Independent here in Washington, D.C., to cover President Joe Biden's big address to the nation. If I were smart, I'd go home now. President Biden arrived at the Capitol full of energy and got straight to the point at the top of his speech. You can't love your country only when you win. He then urged Congress to support aid to Ukraine. My message to President Putin is simple. We will not walk away. Reproductive rights were at the center of his speech tonight. Those bragging about overturning Roe v. Wade have no clue about the power of women. Send me a Congress that supports the right to choose, I promise you. I'll restore Roe v. Wade. Biden faced down heckling from across the aisle, urging support for the border bill while addressing Lake and Riley, the murdered woman who Republicans are using to perpetuate the racist rhetoric around immigrants. We can fight about fixing the border or we can fix it. There were several guests in the chambers, including Katie Cox, a Texas woman who sued the state for the right to obtain an abortion. Biden seemed to ease making his fair share of jokes tonight. I know it may not look like it, but I've been around a while. <laughs> I've been told I'm too young. I've been told I'm too old. Pundits think he came out swinging. How do you think he did? Let us know in the comments. Follow The Independent for more live updates from here in DC and across the nation.